All right, welcome back all my legend and traders and entrepreneurs. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys what happens after you pass the challenge and verification of FTMO. Uh, my channel is all about trading, entrepreneurship, and getting my journey of getting zero, starting from zero Forex to becoming a six-figure trader. So let's go straight into what happens and the emails you get and what you need to do after you have passed your challenge, okay, and verification. So right when you pass, it'll take about a day or two um, for them to send your email. But right away, you'll see that it says uh, your your current trading objective are completed. And congratulations, we'll verify your account and contact you as soon as possible. So within 24 to 48 hours, they're going to send you an email. And this is the email you're going to get. It just says congratulations, now you have passed. And they're just verifying and then verify the uh, contract form and read through the contract form they're just gonna make you verify yourself update some documents about yourself and just read through the contract and sign basically the diff biggest difference between um, your challenge and verification that when you come live is you can't trade news two minutes before or after you could trade it um, you can you just can't open it between two minutes before let's just say it's 5 p.m. You can't open a trade at 4.58 or you can't open a trade uh, at 5.02. But right after it hits uh, 5.03, you can enter another trade. So if you are in a trade and you still want to leave it open during news, you can just remove your take profit and stop loss and make sure that it doesn't hit during that uh, uh, 4.58 to 5.02. So once it passes that four-minute span, then you can start trading again. Uh, with that account so you can enter again your stop loss and take profit that's what I've been doing for my account if I have if I'm holding it long term and I see it that news are coming but also you cannot trade over the weekend so be aware of that so your trade needs to be closed before the market closes on Friday um, yeah so after you fill out the contract form and then they will send you a confirmation that okay everything's good and then they're gonna send you the credentials if you enter into your account and once you are then you're ready to go and that's just a simple um, way of explaining it to you guys uh, yeah so nothing really changed except those two rules onto the live and then whenever you get your profit split on whatever day they give it to you let's just say it's gonna be um, the 30th of that month uh, during that time if you are in profit you're gonna have to close your trades uh, during that time before that so if it's uh, let's just say March 30th uh, You need to close it at 3 p.m. Pacific time if you are in profit if you're not in profit you can leave your uh, Losing trades or your trades running if your balance is not over whatever your initial uh, Balance was so if it was hundred K, but now you're at ninety five thousand dollars You can still leave your trades open. That was one of the mistakes that I did uh, FTMO messaged me and say that uh, your profit split is coming even though I wasn't in profit um, I saw that it said you need to close your trades, so I just closed my trades okay so I left my trades um, I could have left my trades running but because I misread that email and then uh, after I contacted them they said that if you're not in profit you can keep your trades running okay so if you guys are not in profit you don't need to close your trades and that is one of the tips that uh, I messed up on and I hope that helps you guys if you guys have any questions it's just a quick little video um, there's not much to it, so thank you guys all for watching, and hit that subscribe button, I'll see you guys in the next video.